Channel 10, WPLG, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, live. Tension builds as the new look jury goes back to work in the O.J. Simpson civil trial. Local. There is an environmental threat this evening after what happened to this freighter in the Keys. Late breaking. A dramatic scene in Miami springs after school bus crashes into this canal. Eyewitness News at 5 starts right now. And we begin with a late breaking story involving a school van. That van carrying school children went into a canal in Miami Springs just north of 36th Street between Ludlam and Red Rose. Liz Reyes is live at the scene. It really is amazing that no one was seriously injured when the school bus crashed in this canal right behind me here. But thanks to some quick thinking students, thanks to some people who came by and helped them get out of the bus, everyone's doing fine. But let me show you these pictures. They really are incredible what happened here a short while ago. Now, this was a chaotic scene right after the school bus crashed into the canal. It happened shortly after 3 p.m. If your teenager believes their acne is the worst ever, at what point should you send them to a doctor? Christy Krueger puts children's health first tonight to explain when a teenager should see a doctor. One of the worst parts of being a teenager, I think. Those zits, blackheads, and pimples are just a part of puberty. Doctors say no teenager is really immune from acne. As we put children's health first tonight, our experts at Miami Children's Hospital explain when your child's acne might really need some medical attention. What a great little mm, boy. Incredible story. Mm -hmm. Well, Diane and I are headed back to the newsroom to work on Eyewitness News at 6. But first, Eyewitness News at 5.30 with Christy Krueger and Elliot Rodriguez. Channel 10, WPLG, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, live. The check won't be in the mail. That's what thousands of elderly people are being told about their welfare benefits. Local. Find out what this family pet did to protect two children from a pit bull. Late breaking. Coral Springs parents say they should not be the last ones to know about a suspicious man hanging around their children's school. Eyewitness News at 5.30 starts right now. Good evening. Parents are outraged tonight in a local community where a man could be stalking their children. They're angry because the school system decided not to warn them about this potential threat. The schools involved are elementary and middle schools in Coral Springs. Education reporter Vicki Frazier-Williams is joining us now live with more. Christy, Coral Springs Police put out this flyer, this warning. With the box office. Oh, That's the news continues now with Dwight Lauderdale and Diane Magnum. Eyewitness News at 6 begins right now. Channel 10, WPLG, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, live. Day one of the South Day bus lane. Was it smooth sailing or commuter chaos? Local. An Eyewitness News Challenge. Tonight, we begin a special look at teens trying to kick the smoking habit. A huge freighter goes out of bounds off Key West and lands on a coral reef. Eyewitness News at 6 o'clock starts right now. What began as a ride home from school today ended with some terrified kids in a canal. Their van suddenly careened into that Miami Springs canal, forcing those inside to scramble to safety. This happened late this afternoon. If you've never played today's high-tech computer games, you'll probably be surprised by how realistic they are. So realistic, they can be terrifying. Tonight on The Night Beat, consumer investigator Lori Stein shows us the dark side of CD-ROM. The very dark side, Dwight. The graphics on these games can get extremely graphic. Now, they're made with real live actors, and they're almost like movies, so the scenes often get extremely intense. Now, you can find these games at most who's playing these games and why it might not be a good idea to let your kids get a hold of them. Back to you. All right, Lori, we look forward to that. Incredible scenes in those games, too. Yeah. Anyway, Dono, you have mm -hmm. two young boys at home. But yes, uh, I do. They're outside playing in this beautiful world. Oh, they're not right. playing those cd -ROM All games. weekend long, they're outside doing stuff. I couldn't get them in. Yeah. That, that's where kids really belong. That's right. Outside. Sunday, partly sunny and warm. Might have a shower. Thursday and Friday, a chance of showers and still warm. That's our forecast. Diane? Don, thanks. And that does it for now. ABC's World News tonight is coming your way next. For all of us here at Eyewitness News, thank you for joining us this evening. And remember, we'll be looking for you again tonight on The Night Beat. Bye-bye. Eyewitness News. South Florida's number one choice for news and information on the one and only Channel 10.
This is a Channel 10 editorial with Channel 10 Vice President and General Manager John Garwood. If you live in Dade County, what you see is not always what you get. Last November, more than 60% of Dade voters approved a new Bayfront Arena. The Miami Heat spent more than $3.5 million on ads like this one, showing the arena in, quote, Maritime Park. There are two slips in this one for cruise ships. Heat owner Mickey Arison, if you don't know, also runs Carnival Cruise Lines. A plan that may be considered by the Metro Commission calls for four cruise ship slips. Port Director Carmen Lanetta has always wanted four slips, and if he gets his way, it'll mean a much smaller maritime park and less public access to the water. Well, Channel 10 doesn't think that's what voters approved. We ask all Dade residents to get to the county commissioners and fight for what they voted for. Then commissioners should listen and say no to the four-slip arena plan. This has been a Channel 10 editorial. We encourage the presentation of contrasting points of view.